Happening now, friends and family are remembering a Grants Pass team. Malachi Beatty was killed just before 7 this morning when a small truck crossed the center line on Redwood Avenue. Beatty was on the sidewalk when the crash happened. NBC 5's Nikki Torres spoke with some of the students and has the story. I was just kind of just like shocked. It's just it's not easy. A high school is mourning after one of their own was hit by a car this morning and died. We got a call just shortly before 7 o'clock of a vehicle versus a pedestrian. Grants Pass High School sophomore Malachi Beatty was waiting for the school bus on Redwood Avenue near Wintier Lane when he was hit by a Ford Ranger. He crossed the oncoming lane, jumped up onto the curb, struck the pedestrian. Grants Pass Department of Public Safety identified the driver of the vehicle as 21-year-old Christopher Fabish. He actually drove him through uh, the intersection uh, onto the other side of Winechair Lane. Beatty was taken to Three Rivers Medical Center shortly after emergency crews arrived on scene. He died from his injuries at the hospital. A hard hit for a school that just lost two students last year. We've been riddled with so many losses in the past two years that it's just, it's slowly starting to take its toll, even as strong as we are, losses can hit us pretty hard. The community is taking this event as a reminder that life is short. Tell your kids you love them tonight. Hold them close to you. Life is fragile. You have to make sure that you guys understand that you guys do love each other and that you treat your friends right because you never know what could happen, when or when things could happen. Right now, the community is remembering Beatty at a candlelight vigil. And Nikki Torres joining us live now in Grants Pass with the vigils just beginning. Nikki. Craig, Kristen, as you can see behind me, students are still arriving for the candlelight vigil. They are all here to mourn the loss of Malachi Beatty. Ba Beatty was a sophomore at Grants Pass High School, and I was just talking to some students at the vigil. They described him as an overall quiet person, but he was very sweet and kind. His friends say he was the only student getting picked up at that bus stop, so when he'd get picked up, he would run so no one would have to wait for him. And events tonight include a reading from a local youth pastor, open mic, and a candle lighting. Also, a prayer will be involved as well. And if you'd like to stop by, Grants Pass High School says that this will go on until the next hour. Live in Grants Pass tonight, Nikki Torres, NBC5 News.